Peace and blessings, everyone. Welcome back to the Humble Servant Homestead, guys. Early this morning, we are out here in the garden, and that's how it is every morning. We come on out and we find work to do in the garden. Find work. It's work all around us. We just come on out here, guys, and just put our hands to the plow to go ahead and knock, knock out a lot of the chores that we have to do in the garden here. So today, guys, what I want to go ahead and do, if you all remember that onion video that I dropped and I said, hey, these onions, they are not looking so pretty. Well, guys, I guess I am going to bite my words. My wife said, hey, there's nothing wrong with them. What I went ahead and did, I come on in, give them another haircut. What I mean by haircut, I come on in and I cut the tops, give them some fish emulsion, and guess what? These jokers, they took off. And I guess uh, what it could have been that slowed them down is probably the inside. And once they came on out and get that sunlight, get that real sun, they just started to grow like crazy, guys. And I want to come on in and give you all an update real quick so y'all can see what they are looking like. And we're going to go ahead and plant this bed out. Now, if you all remember, what we had planted in this bed right here was garlic and those was uh, hard neck garlic and they were ready. And so we went ahead and pulled them out. Um, in just a moment, I'll show you guys what they are looking like. I just have them sitting out in the sun right now to kind of go ahead and get wilted. And then we're going to take them on the inside of our shed so they can go ahead and finish the curing process. All right, so this bed is real nice and ready and prepped. And guess what guys, I did not come in and work this bed right here. I left it just the way it is. Simple reason why. I have some friends down here that's doing a lot of work for me. And stay tuned. Like I said in a previous video, I want to go ahead and take you all um, so y'all can see what's going on underneath this bed. Now, just from even looking at this bed right here, guys, I am seeing a lot of worm poop. A lot of worm, I guess you would call it worm casting from where the worms is eating the dirt and pooping it out. Therefore, well, I think I just gave it away. Dang it. I just gave it away. I told you what's going on down here. All right, guys, we ain't gonna talk much about that in like that right now. We're gonna wait till that next video. But what I wanna go ahead and do is show you all these onions right here, guys. Look at these onions. And the growth since we did that video. And I just wanna go ahead and pull this tray right here on out so we can see what's going on ah oh, look at that look at all those beautiful roots underneath and we're going to go ahead and plant these out now i'm thinking i may not have enough space to plant all these onions so what i'm going to actually do because uh most of the other varieties that we have is a uh, long day onion and so I don't want a whole lot of long day onion in this particular bed. Simple reason why guys, they may not bulb out for us, but what will happen, we may get quite a bit of foliage from them and we'll just use them in the kitchen as scallion. We can dehydrate some and just put away for storage for a later date. All right, so just uh, stay tuned. Well, not stay tuned. Come on along. I'm going to take you all with us right and now. And so we'll get back to those onion in just a moment, guys. But right over here is the garlic that we pulled out of that bed right there. Now, you know, some of them, we have some pretty good size in there. And some is just a bit smaller. And hey, garlic is garlic. I am thankful because all I planted was one clove. And I get all that right there. Okay, and so what we're going to do with this garlic right here, guys, is make garlic and honey. Uh, we do have a video showing you all how we go about making garlic and honey uh, to build your immune system. Uh, so before we get to planting, come on along. I just want to show you all what the rest of these onions are looking like. So far, they are growing really well, guys. Um, the foliage is starting to look real nice on them. And over here was the other ones that we planted. And so far, they are coming along nicely as well. 
Now, those other uh, onions over there, um, I pray I'm not a bit too late putting them in the ground, but we're going to go ahead and put our hands on them and see what they do for us. So come on along. We're going to get back on over there and put a few in the ground and plant that bed on out. So come on, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys. And so we're going to go ahead and put these one right here back. These are the Elsa Craig um, onions that we have here. Now, these here are long days. So these I'm not going to fill out the bed with these right here because I've already planted some other variety that is long day. Now, remember, we did say we were going to go ahead and do an experiment because uh, the onions that we're supposed to plant in our area here, guys, is short day onions. And I just want to try these long day onions out to see what they do. Don't hurt to try, right? All right, so what I'm going to do is pull out these Texas granule out of this tray here. And like I said, the reason, you know, starting your own onions, guys, is the beauty is because they don't go through too much of a transplant shock. OK, now, because of the tray that I plant them in, what I'm going to do, come on in real close and I'll show you all how I'm going to go about taking these out. So all I'm going to do is hold the onion all the way down by the root well down by the base rather and just give a pull just like that and the beauty about it is that i like with doing it like that you see i still have a little bit of dirt on those roots guys all right and so hey that's the beauty i'll do another one real quick now not all of them you're gonna get that you're gonna have dirt on the root but you think about it you're coming straight from the dirt in the ground there's not a lot of shock that's going to go through with these onions than the ones them that I bought from the store. But like I said, thought these was not going to do good for me or do much. And so I did went on out and I purchased those. But hey, we have extra onions here on hand, guys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and plan out real quick. And these I might plant them a bit close. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to hurt anything. So we're just gonna come on in, move that dirt back, and sit that plant in, just like that, guys. Just like how I showed you all in that other video there. All right, just pulling them back. I think these I'm going to come in right at about, uh, I'll say about four inches with these here. Simple reason why I have quite a bit, and hey, I want to go ahead and get as much planted out as possible. Uh, what I may end up doing, because if I don't have the space for all these onions, guys, I might just find somebody, a friend or family, something like that, that may that have a garden that can use some. All right. And what I'm doing, I'm actually planting out the bigger, you know, trying to find the bigger ones that I can put in here healthy and strong all right and I'm gonna tell you another thing while we're here look at them look at them and I'm telling you they are loaded in this area here we look at that a lot of them but like I said that's that's for another day we're going to come on in and talk a little bit about those little fellas. All right. But the beauty about it is. With using that organic matter, every time I come on in and I either throw uh, chicken manure or uh, goat manure in here, those worms, they get so happy, guys. Um, I don't think this property property will ever run out of earthworms they are just loaded throughout here and we'll talk about it another day so what i'm going to do i'm gonna get something to go ahead and kneel on so i can reach on over inside of my bed to plant these onions out so stay tuned and i will be right back
Okay, guys. And so instead of letting you all sit right here and watch me plan out uh, hundreds of onions, I'm going to go ahead and plant these on out. And as you come back uh, another time for an update, you will see uh, what it is looking like. Now, all my long day onions, I'm going to be separating them out. As y'all can see right here, I have a string uh, separating them so that way I don't get them mixed up. So whenever I come on in, I can identify my onions very easily, guys. And so just stay tuned and just stay tuned till next time when we'll come on in and give an update on these onions here, guys. I just want to say thanks to each and every one of you all out there for stopping by the Humble Servant Homestead. And as always, peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there, guys. And also remember, this is one thing that I don't want you all to forget. Go ahead and share these videos here, guys. Throw that thumbs up, like, and subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps the channel, uh, you know, to grow. And so that way we can keep on coming here to give you all some growing tips and, you know, and we can grow together. All right. So that is it right there. I just want to say peace and blessings to each and every one of you all out there. Have a blessed day. And also remember, don't forget, keep a smile on your face. You be happy, be cheerful. And I want you all to have a blessed day.